is actually under the platform and the cub is a lane right alongside of her. And there they are. Sound asleep. Come on guys, pick your head up so they can see you. No, nope, I guess they're not gonna move. They have these little white patches on their shoulder which which the which the veterinarian said will go away as they as they get bigger. But they're both laying right down there next to the mother. Okay, European brown bear. Look at the face on them. The face was the original pattern for the teddy bear. Looks just like the teddy bear, right? Now these guys, these guys are big. <laughs> if you get a chance, look at the claws. This, you can sort of see on, look here, this guy here. Look at the claws on him. They are big animals. Now, they like water. So they're over here in the lake. And you'll see them over here. Now, there's more water on one side than the other, so we have a tunnel under the road because they can't cross the road. Tunnel under the road. And this is the sweetest smelling section of the park. Right? Don't they smell so great? Now, one of these, a little earlier, it's the one right there, he likes to stick his head under the water and blow bubbles. And the one in the middle over there, uh, a couple of days ago, somehow he found, um, he found a car tire in there and he was holding that up in his hand. And we have two in the water there. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me tell you a story about two special bears, and we're going to see both of them up close, okay? Bears are born to the mother when the mother is in hibernation. So the mother's sound asleep when they're born. So for, for about a month, the bears have to take care of themselves. Two years ago, two bears were born in the, in, in the den, and the den flooded. So we didn't want them to... Uh, drowned, so one of the vets climbed into the den, brave soul that he is, took the two cubs out of the den, and they are Spot right there, and Scarlet over here, okay? Easy to tell, because Spot has a spot on his chest, and Scarlet has a scar on her, on the, on the side of her head. So, easy to tell apart. Now, they are two years old, a little over two, two and a half years, They'll stay in here till they're about four years old. Then they'll have enough body mass to be able to hold their own with all the other big bears out there. But right now they can't do it, so. Now, by the way, um, the three, those two bears were taken home by our boss for three months and raised at home. He kept them there until they started to tear his house apart. Then they were put in here. Now, anybody want to volunteer to take bear cubs home? One? <laughs> Only one? <laughs> Usually I have a couple that will raise their hands. Okay, this area here is our, our uh, conservation area. This is the area that we promised the state of New Jersey that we would maintain as close to the uh, New Jersey pine lands as we can. We will not native species into here. It's also used by migratory birds as a flyway. So again, we have to maintain this this area. And it's a pretty big area. It goes way back over and actually meets up with the other part of the park. Um, this park now, with this area and, and, and the amusement area together, is the largest amusement park in the world. It's almost 450 acres complete. Now we still have another 200 to 250 acres that we own that we can expand into. And they've already, they're already planning, planning expansions for this uh, safari next year and the year after. It's been very successful as you can tell by the long lines that you had to stand on. Now, when you think of Australia, what animals come to mind first? Kangaroos, okay. You're going to see red kangaroos in here. 
The males are red, the females are gray, actually a blue-gray. They are called blue flyers, the females. The males are the largest kangaroos uh, in Australia. Standing up, they can be over five feet tall, and from the tip of their nose to the tip of their tail, they can be 10 feet long. We also have emu in here. Emu are a flightless bird, just like the ostrich and the rhea. Emu are raised for their meat and the eggs. In fact, in Wall Township, New Jersey, there's a big farm raising emu. There's two emu over there. And it looks like all the kangaroos are over in the field, which is good, because then you see them all together. They're all right there. And we have a couple of babies. Uh, what, what are baby kangaroos called? Joey's, right, somebody got Joey's. Black Swan, again, fairly rare, and we have, uh, we have five of them here. I like the red beak with the little white band around it on the end. Usually when we drive by, they come up to the side of the road and screech at us. I don't think they like the trucks. Okay, and some more mute swans. And some emu, and then the kangaroo is on the other side of the emu. Emu, by the way, are very fast. They can go up to 40 miles an hour, and they have, when they're at full speed, they have a nine-foot stride. Okay, let's see if we can find the, the real young baby. The joey I'm looking for is just in and out of the pouch. It is, uh, the mother's letting it back once in a while just to, ah, uh, it's, okay, they're in the middle back there, and the baby, let's see, the emu is gonna cross in front of them in a second. There's the baby moving the legs now. They're, okay, they're right behind the emu now. Okay, the baby's on the ground and I, it's probably the mother right behind them. Okay? And unfortunately, you don't see the big males standing up because they got these massive tails. They cannot walk. They can't use their legs independently. That's why they hop, okay? And kangaroos can hop very, very quickly. They can, uh, they can jump over, probably over 25 feet in one shot. Now, we're in the realm of the tigers. This is Asia. We have Bengal tigers and Siberian tigers in here. The first tiger you're gonna see is the Bengal tigers, and this guy's name is Kirill. Kirill will be in the, in, in the enclosure on your right. Bengal tigers are four distinct colors, white with brown stripes, yellow with black, the most common, pure white, which is very rare, and then butterscotch. And the butterscotch are really pretty, and we have two butterscotch. But there's Kirill. I swear he's looking at those antelope over there and dreaming of a fenceless world. He just sits there. Ah, oh, look at his face. Good, he turned to look at you. Gorgeous animal. Okay, now. And remember I pointed out to you uh, the bachelor herd of black buck? They're up here. The antelope down there are on the island are the nil guy. The Nilgai are native to India and to uh, Pakistan. And this is the mixed herd of the black buck. You can see a couple of babies in there, one of them right here. Here's one of the little babies right there. We have two men and another baby walking along. And a couple of them over here. I told you, we got babies all over the park. I think we have six or eight of the black buck are babies. Now, if take a quick look. Ah, there he is moving, okay? He's walking around over there. See that cat in the back? He is a butterscotch-colored cat moving along in the back there. 
Okay, now you all have a problem, all right? His name is King Dakar. We named a roller coaster after him. Park tradition, if you see King Dakar, you have to ride King Dakar. Everybody up for that? Yep, okay, good. All right, now we have a yellow with, uh, with black stripes in the water. Now, Bengal tigers on your right, Siberian tigers on your left. This is Noah, and is he asleep still? Yeah, he's still asleep. Noah is behind the platform, up against the wall over there. Sound asleep. Now we have three females out here in this enclosure, Siberian tigers, so be able to get to see the size of them. And I love this position. Isn't, isn't that a dignified way to sleep? And that's a female, folks. That's a dignified, oh, rollover, okay. Dignified way to sleep. Look at, look at the size of the paws on her. Just massive, massive paws. Now they, they have retractable claws, okay? Where some of the, some of the other animals do not, or the, uh, or the cats do not. Now, the other two, we have one Siberian